Alright guys, a lot of you guys have been asking me how to take interior photos. Um, and first thing you need to do is find a place with good lighting in the interior. Um, now I am currently in a race. Um, but you don't have to be in a race, you just have to be in single player for this one. So you reverse and break, going to first. Then you press rewind and it's rewinding. Um, rewind again to the point where you were here. So, and then pause it, that's important. Um, then when you want to take a photo, you can see I can, with my right trigger, I can adjust the, the, the speed of the replay both forward and backwards. So you want to, in slow motion, which you have to regulate yourself by pressing the right trigger slightly, um, you want to press it and while you press the right trigger down, slowly you want to press the A button to go into photo mode. Like this. And then press down on the left trigger to make sure that you don't go over the car. Now, you are in interior mode. You can actually even see there, he shifted the gear up to first. <coughs> the reason I shifted the gear up to first was just for the aesthetics when you take the photo. What is What I think is important inside when you take interior photos is the exposure. Uh, because when you want to have a, a place with good lighting, you have the sun shining in on shiny materials inside the interior. Um, which can make reflections quite big. If you disable the car lights, um, it will disable lights inside of the car as well. Um, so I recommend them on and driver off. Crown creatures are optional. Um, and so yeah, now you are free to take a photo of inside the car. Um, I suggest just for the, the look of it so that the background is out of focus just press aperture up to 1. Um, it's very sensitive inside if you press it to 5 it becomes really extreme. Um, so just 1 or 2 and focus on it and See, if I have the exposure to 50, everything looks over overexposure. Um, so you need to adjust the lighting. For this here, I would adjust it down to 30. Um, you can, as I edit all my pictures, just edit <laughs> the, the dark places a tiny bit lighter. Um, what I do then is take not take a photo here, I take a screenshot with the UI away. User index away. Because when you take a picture like this, yeah, it renders it um, and the aperture might become a tiny bit better because it gives the aperture the time to render, but after your focus just wait and the aperture will render and you can screenshot it instead. When you do this, you have down in the corner, you have the logo, um, which could take off the part if you want to crop it or wants to look really realistic, you can, but this could not be here. Um, and when you then download your photo that you have taken like that, um, 
you download it from Forza Hub or whatever, the Xbox app, anything you want. Um, it compresses the photo which limits the quality. Here you just take a screenshot of your screen. Currently I'm only playing on a 1080p screen, so, but I am sure that the photograph that I am screenshotting right now, right here, this exact thing that I'm seeing is 1080p. Um, so if I take a screenshot, you probably can't see it, but I just take a screenshot, um, I go to my desktop.